What's going on guys, JoeThomeGRC.com. Welcome, and today we have the Low C 22S roller. And also beside it is the Team Associated DR10 kit. I just wanna kinda of point the two out. We do carry this on our website, OMGRC.com. Now this one, you're gonna to have to put it all together. It means you gotta build it, you're gonna need some tools to put this thing together. No wheels, no tires, no body, no electronics. This one here, well, it doesn't come with a body, it doesn't come with electronics, but it does come with wheels and tires. So, when it comes to no prep drag racing, these two are a winner in my book. The reason why is because we're gonna get rid of those electronics, get rid of that body, we're gonna go with something a little bit more aerodynamic. And also, as far as servos, don't really, they're not, you just wanna keep that car going straight. So you don't need anything super expensive as a, for a servo. You can go kinda on the cheap on the servo, but your electronics, your motor, and your um, electronic speed controller, Possibly your radio as well. You want to make sure that that's good. So those would be the things that you kind of look at. I've only been in the hot, into the uh, no prep drag racing for, I don't know, four or five months. So I have a lot to learn. But we're getting the car dialed down quite a bit lower and lower all the time. So I'm digging that part of it. Um, let's just get into this thing here. Let's go ahead and put this one aside. Thank you to Devin. He's in the he's part of, he's a member in the Wicked RC Club, and he's like, hey man. If you want to do an unboxing, go ahead. So I was like, all right, yeah, we'll check this thing out, look at it all, and I'll kind of give you guys my thoughts on it too. So I'm going to spin this thing around, and you can kind of see it all. But let's go ahead and just get this thing out of the box. All right, I already cracked the seals on this thing. It's a little bit easier. Mm. All right, instruction manual. Car itself, let's take a look at it. Right, so I took everything out of the bag so we can see it a little bit better. Your little wrench, your little antenna tube, and also your battery strap, some Allen wrenches, little grub screw, no pinion gear, unfortunately, and you just have some little body clips. The other ones are kind of hanging out right there. These, like these, I don't know what you want to call them, these like side bumpers, whatnot. These are a little bit wider, so maybe by chance you have a wider body or something, you can stick those on there. I don't know. So you guys can let me know on that one. A little free, free cool brand swag, whatever, Horizon uh, Pro Line. Man, go with reactions. Reactions are the ish. I like them. Even the stickers themselves, at least you can peel them off and you can stick them on whatever body that you decide to go with. Instructor manual, not happy with that. I'm gonna get into that one just a second. Uh, this is just more information as far as, you know, really to, hey, you need to go with our Spectrum stuff. Well, it's a roller, so you can go with whatever the heck you want. Um, you do get some aluminum pieces that are in there. So here's the instruction manual. Well, you guys can see this a little bit. So you got a couple pages. Here, just setting up your radio, which you don't have that radio because you bought a roller, right? But if you did get a different radio, you'll have your own separate instructions anyways. So a couple little pages and that's it. So nothing about mounting your servo and things like that. They do show you how to mesh your pinion gear with your spur gear. That's pretty much it. There's no exploded view, so maybe that stuff is just online. Okay, going with the car itself, kind of looking it over. This is, I mean, I just because I've looked at it enough already that I know that this little, it's missing a screw that's for like kind of purging your shock. It did leak out the oil, so there's no oil left in the one shock. That's just a QC issue. Things happen, man, no one's perfect, so. I do like it. It's got, I mean, most of these cars, man, they're gonna be plastic, so you just have to kind of expect that stuff. I don't know, like as far as team search, they have aluminum, but honestly, there they have these spacers in there as well so which one's really better um so there's some adjustments that are on it i like that it has a bumper i think the team associated they have a bumper as well so no biggie um plastics feel good on here as well yeah it's not bad at all um nice rim key thompson on there that's cool so i like that five star look servo so you gotta mount that one i don't see any screws so and they don't really talk about how to mount the servo which hopefully if you guys are getting one of these, you kind of know how to do it. The little batter step that is for this, I would really like to see it just Velcro. They have these screws that are here. You might be able to use these screws for your servo because you're probably not gonna go with the Spectrum. Electronic speed controller. Here's your receiver box, but they do have this. Maybe this might be functional for a couple other brands, models, maybe Hobby Wing or something like that. Uh, as far as the Mickey Thompson wheels, they're cool. I do like as far as that they have the MT on there. ET drag, but I would probably switch these out, honestly. Um, if I was just starting and I didn't have a real powerful system, I'd keep these on here just to kind of get going. But down the road, I would get some Proline reactions that are belted 
and they're gonna stick and they're not gonna deform as you go down the track with lots of power. Wheelie bar is adjustable up and down a little bit more. So yeah, the aluminum chassis, that's good. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not really for or against as far as aluminum chassis. Like it doesn't matter, plastic one, aluminum one. The only reason why I would probably go with like a plastic one, even though one of my cars has an aluminum chassis, is that if you hit something, you're, you have the potential of bending the aluminum chassis. I like that more manufacturers are, are getting into no prep, so definitely cool. Just a starting platform, so you know, just kind of keep that in mind, and then from there, build it up. Really cool, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you again for Devin from Wicked RC Club for letting me do the unboxing of this thing. It's pretty sweet, man. I can't wait for you to put your electronics in there. See this thing get down the track, man. So thank you again. You guys, peace out. Get out there and do some drag racing, man. It's awesome.